this is just Lori from paperthreads.com and I'm excited. My new cinch just came in and I wanted to share with you some of the some tips that I learned about it as I got it right out of the box. Okay, um, number one, the first thing that you need to do when you get a new machine is clearly to, to make sure that everything works. So check to make sure that each one of your pegs will go in and then it will come out and then it will go in again. They're a little fiddly so you just kind of be gentle with it and pull it out and you know figure out how it works. However, what I had happened was that one of my pegs, my number five in particular, came out no problem but when I tried to push it in again it did not go back in correctly. Um, I was ready to send the machine back, really kind of rather disappointed, but what I did discover is that it was stuck out. I turned the machine upside down, trying to see if there was anything that I could do as far as home repairs. And when it was upside down, I just it, the peg slid back in again. I don't know why this works, but it has worked on a number of occasions. Um, that, so there's one camp. The next thing I want to say is that when you get your machine, <clears throat> What they've done is they have oiled all these, all the, all the holes and, and the, the punch. So you need to run it through some scrap paper because the oil is black and yucky and you don't want that on your final project. So use lots of scrap paper, enough to cover all your holes. Don't just, don't just test it on the lower ones and then you end up with these guys being still nasty and these cleaned up. Yeah. Take care of all of them. Okay, one thing I also noticed is that on the web and in other videos, everybody was was demonstrating um, a four-inch book. I think I saw one twelve-inch, but four was like okay, four is fine, four is cool. When it's four, you look <clears throat> basically you look under the inches. You then go over and you find four inches, you look down, you see eight. Eight means I pull out pin eight. That's easy. However, what about an eight inch sheet of paper? Well, what you want with eight inches is you want to have all the holes lined up and centered within, within the page so that this distance is the same as this distance. So if I go to eight inches, I see hole four that I should pull peg four. Well, if I pull peg four right now before I've cut anything, I'm going to have a gap. So what you really want to do is you want to, eight inches is greater than the seven, so I'm going to slide it all the way in. All my pegs are in. I'm going to bring it down, and then I need to do these last few here. So, what I do to do that is I bring it around. Let's see if I can, I can show you a little bit. And I want to put, I want to put the second hole, put the ruler out, I want to put the second hole into this little registration hole, a punch right here. So, I, I try to line it up here. So, the second hole, and this is kind of tough. Okay, now, when you do this, it's still going to move. Make sure that you, you have it nice and square, or these last few holes are not going to be working. Now, once again, now I go to peg to 8 inches and peg 4, so now I pull out my, my peg 4. Okay, bring it down, lift up on the registration, and there we go. This distance here is now the same as this distance here, and we're, we're all set. That worked just fine. Okay, next. What about four and a half inch or four and a quarter inches? It, it, it gets a little tricky. There is no place that talked about things that were slightly different in size. So how do we how do we take care of four and a quarter? Well, here's what I've I've found. It's four, so I'll go to the four, and it says pull out eight. Well, first we need to push in this one. From, okay, so I'm going to pull out eight. And so let's, let's punch it and see what happens. Okay, this distance here is greater than this distance here. 
and it's greater by approximately an eighth of an inch. Now to figure that out, we know it's four and a quarter, so we take the quarter inch, we divide it by two, and we get one eighth. We want to basically shift it over. So I'm going to bring the ruler out one eighth. That's basically two little clicks. And we're going to slide it back in there again and go down and if you can notice the holes are now centered. So to recap on that, if I had wanted a four and a half inch I would pull out pin eight because the four I look for the eight and I know that it's eight and, and I take half of the half inch which would be a quarter inch. I then pull the ruler out to a quarter and then I slide it in, line it up and then I would punch it. Okay, next, I'm new to this. So I, I, I did not know what kind of accessories to buy. I didn't know what they're called. They're actually called O-wires. Um, the other thing is that there is a limit to the, to the smallest size you can get. Do not buy something that is smaller than three quarters of an inch. How do I know? I know this because this little, got, this little knob here goes to three quarters of an inch and it goes up to one and a quarter. I was foolish. I decided I needed something that was actually smaller. So I bought, sorry, so I, I bought a very small, it was like five sixteenths. So this is, this is tiny. There's a problem. The pages don't open because the distance between the holes and the wires, it, it, there's an overlap here. Buy your O wires no less than three quarters of an inch, and I would I would stick with their one and a quarter inch maximum. Now, if like you like me, you have gone out and bought O wires that are tiny. There is a way to to make this work. And here's, here's what you have to do. If I wanted this sheet of paper to have wires that were cut a little bit less than this here. Let's take a look here. If I, don't, if I want this space to be a little bit less, then what I can do is kind of measure that, figure out how much less. Now, I can then slide this in here. Now I'm going to basically build another, another guide is what I'm doing. So if I need it to be a quarter of an inch less or an eighth of an inch less, then I'll slide this little guide out about an eighth of an inch. Attach, we need to make sure that it's even, that's, that's kind of tricky. Attach this right here. Tape it on there. Now I'm going to slide the piece of paper, line it up with the edge of the machine and with the Oh, you didn't even see that. And the edge of this new this new little guide, and then I can punch it. If you'll notice, this the distance now is that quarter of an inch less. That would then make it possible to use these little tiny O wires. Okay, the last thing that I noticed is that as I was punching for my little book, for my my granddaughter to be. Um, I had gotten all of these pages in and some of the holes, some of the paper from the punches in this machine, when I was punching it, they got stuck and they didn't go all the way through to the pocket back in, you know, to the little place, the carrier. They got stuck back in here so that when I actually put the paper in, it did not go all the way in. <clears throat> and since it didn't go all the way in, it caused the page to, to punch incorrectly. <clears throat> so, solution. Take a small flat ruler and run it through and clean this out on occasion. Before you're going to be doing another piece, clean this out. And that's it. This is just Lori from PaperThreads.com.